I'm Lardo. And I'm Burley. And we're, we're the, the Moron, Moron Brothers. Brothers. Got a frog in my throat. He had the biggest feet in by in the fourth grade. That's because he was 16. But they held him back in the fifth grade. Didn't want him to be in the same class as daddy. They caught him wasn't long. We got caught cheating on a test in that algebra class. She you took said you wouldn't tell off. that no more. She took his principal off and she said, these two cheating. He looked at me, he said, Bertie, you cheating? I said, no, sir, I ain't cheating. He said, Lardo, you cheating? He said, no, sir, I ain't cheating. He said, they both say they ain't cheating. She said, I can prove it. She said, look at Bertie's test, question number 12. He wrote, I do not know the answer to this question. He said, well, ain't nothing wrong with that. She said, look at Lardo's test, question number 12. He wrote, me neither. We didn't come here to be laughed at. This is a this was an old poem years ago. Little burglar man. This is here. Well, I'll tell you a story about a burglar man that planned to rob a house. Crept right through the window as quietly as a mouse. He dreamed of all the money he'd steal and under the bed he laid. But the things that he would see that night would turn his hair from gray. About nine o'clock, an old maid came in, and I'm too tired, she said. Thinking everything would be all right, she got to look under the bed. Well, she took out her teeth, her big glass eye, and her hair from off her head. Scared that burglar half to death when he peeped out from under the bed. Well, the burglar crawled from under the bed, he was a nervous wreck. She jumped on him like a dog on a bone and grabbed him round the neck. She never screamed or whippered, she was quiet as a clown. She said, oh Lord, I thank you, I got me a man. Well, she pulled a pistol from the drawer and to the burglar said, if you don't marry me, young man, I'll blow off the top of your head. Well, he looked at her teeth and her big glass eye and he had no word to scoot. He looked her in her good eye, said, for God's sake, let it shoot. 